And our third and final main topic comes to us from Hanks Gregard, who writes, Hey, John and Rob. With 2020 almost upon us and a batch of new comic book films coming, what do you think will end up being the best comic book movies of the year? I know we haven't seen them yet, but if you had to predict, what would be your guess? Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, Hanks. And it, it's I'm still having a hard time wrapping my head around this notion that we are just about rapidly hitting the end of the year. We're pretty much at the end of the year, and it's, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around the idea that we are heading into 2020. Just like a week from now, it's going to be 2020, it, it, which is kind of crazy. A week and a day or something like that. We're going to be in 2020, which is nuts. Now, Rob, this has been a box office record-breaking year. It's been a very good year for comic book films. Not all of them were great. I'm looking at you, Hellboy. Not all of them were great. But we had a lot of really good, solid comic book films this year. Obviously, we had a record-breaking year for Avengers Endgame. We had a record-breaking year for Joker, being the highest-grossing R-rated film of all Who time. Who would have thought that, dude? Who would have thought that? And by the way, by the way, a film, Rob, that is in all likelihood going to be getting a Best Picture nomination. We're about, to, we're about I believe, now I don't know this for sure, but I believe we're about to... He hit the unthinkable. We're going to have two years in a row that we're going to have a comic book film nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Take but, that, detractors. Yeah, but it's time to us to look forward. What's coming? Now, we got seven major comic book movies on the way, all right, in 2020. We got Wonder Woman 1984. We got Black Widow. We got Birds of Prey. We got Morbius. We got New Mutants. We got Venom, and we've got the Eternals. Now, I, I don't think I'm missing any. I, I believe that's all seven. And so we've got uh, this. This I'll, I'll tell you this, Rob. To me, well, we this have. Did you say? Did you say Bloodshot? Oh, and I didn't say Bloodshot. So we got yeah. But I know it's been delayed like three weeks, <sighs> but that's the first value. But it's still universe. 2020, right? It's still coming yeah. out 2020. So there you go. I gotta say. This is the first year in a number of years, in a lot of years, that I look at the upcoming slate and it's a little bit of a question mark. I think there's some good potential. Obviously, I think Wonder Woman, I think the most easy lock for what movie can we guarantee will at least be good, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman 84 is the one that I think we can at least point at and say, I have very little doubt that that one is at least going to be good. Because you got Patty Jenkins coming back to direct it, so I've got no no doubt there. That doesn't necessarily mean I think it'll be the best, but I think if all their if all their films take their highest potential and their lowest possible worst spot, and then you just get to the middle, then I think Wonder Woman is the film that we can most put our money on will at least be good. But I don't think it's not the one I'm going to predict is going to be the best one of the year. Because the one I think. I'm going to predict could be the best one of the year is also one that could turn out to be an unmitigated disaster. <laughs> so keep, but I think the potential is there, but let's look at a couple of them. I don't think the best one of the year is going to be Morbius. Um, although I, I think there, that film has a really high potential to be really great and really awful. And it's going to be interesting to see which way that breaks. So I I'm looking forward to Morbius. I don't think it's going to be Morbius. I don't think it's going to be black widow. Although I got to say, my expectations for Black Widow have risen quite a bit ever since that trailer dropped, because that trailer came out and that trailer was absolutely fantastic. So I, I'm down for that, but I don't think it's going to be Black Widow. I am still not on board with Birds of Prey. I'm Media. still not on board with Birds of I'm still not on board with Birds of Prey. So potential, yes, you got Margot Robbie in there. It's a great character. You got Ewan McGregor. So clearly it has potential, but I'm still not convinced and I'm still not on board. One of the other films that I think that is most likely to be at least good alongside of Wonder Woman would be Eternals. I mean, they've got a fabulous group of, of filmmakers there. You've got a great cast, a great mythology. There's a lot there that could end up being good, but still not the one that I think is going to be the best. Mm. I also don't think New Mutants is going to be the best. Uh, again, I think it has potential. Could be really bad. Could be really good. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to shock the world right now, Rob. Venom. Venom 2 is going to be the best comic book movie. Of Come on, I'm dude. not kidding. I'm All not right. kidding. 
I'm not Eddie kidding. Circus I, is a I, guy. I believe that Venom 2. Now, I could totally change my tune once I see a trailer, okay? I understand we are just looking into our crystal balls right now, looking into the future. So I could totally change my tune once we start seeing these movies. But for right now, I believe once we get to the end of 2020, I'm going to say that the best comic book movie of the year was Venom 2, and I'll tell you why. Number one, I, more than you, I know, I had a hell of a lot of fun with the first Venom. Right. I, I really did. And I thought the, the the dichotomy of Tom Hardy as both the symbiote and as Eddie, I, I could have just watched the two of them talking to each other all movie. I, I just loved it. Number two. I think that was their first there was this was the first film that Sony did comic book wise in this comic book universe idea without Marvel in a number of years. So they came in and it was a new idea. They're trying this thing with Venom without Spider-Man. They were really learning their footing. I think that even though that Venom movie ended up being really entertaining, I think they learned a lot of lessons as well. And I think you're going to see a big improvement in Venom 2 over Venom 1. Number three, you mentioned him, Andy Serkis. I really have a lot of belief in Andy Serkis. See, I didn't like his Jungle Book movie. But he did that one with Andrew Garfield um, that I thought was just breathtakingly good. And even though I didn't really like his Jungle Book movie, the direction of it was wonderful. I thought the direction of it was wonderful. And I just have a lot of faith in him as a filmmaker right now. So there's that. Fourth thing. Tom Hardy was so invested in this thing, he got involved in the story development with it. You know, mm -hmm. He's not the screenplay writer, but like that's how invested he is in this. So... You take all of that, you've got a movie that could end up in the toilet. I agree. But I think the highest peak potential is the highest for Venom 2. And I'm going to go on a limb and say Venom 2 is going to be the best comic book movie of 2020. Rob, I'm sure you agree with me. Tell everybody why you agree with me. I don't agree with you, John. I, I'm not surprised. <laughs> but I, I'm going to tell you... Uh, the one that I'm most excited about, one of the one of the benefits of being here in my Rob Observatory is there's a lot of of just things that are at my fingertips. And one of those things is this lovely Marvel omnibus. Woo, look uh, at that. This is the Jack Kirby version. There's also a Neil Gaiman version of the Eternals. I am, as I say, deliriously excited about the Eternals because uh, even Kevin Feige has spoken that the story is going to take place over thousands of years. You're going to see the development of the Eternals and how it, how it really ties into the cosmic uh, nature of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the Celestials. And of course, there's the Deviants. And if they even capture a hint of the Kirby-esque nature, I mean, look at this. Come on. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, th this is so quintessentially Jack Kirby. And um, when gods walk the earth, I'm really, really excited to see this film. And as you pointed out, the cast is amazing. And I think we're really going to get a... I mean, I guess I, I want to call it a biblical epic. I don't know why. But it's got I, that I, feel. Yeah, I feel like we're going to get some something like, like well, maybe not Ben Hur or the Ten Commandments, but I, 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 I think we're going to get something along those lines, and yet it's going to be, it'll span time, it'll span galaxies. I, I think it's going to be huge, and obviously they've got a cast. I mean, look at how look at how swole Camille, Camille. Nagiani is looking. Uh, Nagiani was I, Nagiani was a monster. I mean, yeah. like somebody said on my Facebook uh, feed, why doesn't Marvel start their gym service where everybody, <laughs> all, all the fans can can learn how to become a superhero? By I mean, I want to look like that. I know he said uh, that it was a horrible experience <laughs> doing that, and he needed a lot of help. But man, I'd love to look like that if only for a couple of months. Just so I can prance around naked and look as look as good as he does. I, but, I remember Chris Pratt. He was telling me uh, Chris Pratt came in and he was telling me that when they were uh, like shooting uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, because he went through a massive body transformation, right? Yeah. He said, I think it was like one of his relatives had sent. It was his birthday, and one of his relatives had <laughs> had sent a birthday cake to set, and Pratt told me he said the Disney guys took the cake took the cake his family member sent him and threw it out and brought in a vegetable cake. He said it was like all made up of broccoli and carrots and all that kind of stuff. And I had to, so they, Marvel's, Marvel's going to help you get into that shape. They're going to help uh, you I get mean, into that shape. But I, you know, it's, I just think that cast is so interesting. And, and I, I think that we're going to get something epic that feels different. 
And uh, it's coming out this year between Black Widow and the Eternals. You know, everyone's like, oh, how, you know, Marvel's not going to obviously match what they matched last year with Captain Marvel and Endgame. But both Black Widow and Eternals are movies I'm very much looking forward to. So I'm excited for Marvel's output in 2020. Rob, when you start to look at some of the other films that they have lined up, uh, we got that 2020's got lined up. Uh, yeah. Give me, give me just, just quick, quick little thoughts about how these could come in. All right. Morbius. Um, well, you know, Jared Leto's a really interesting performer. And I've talked about on this show, one of my favorite science fiction films of the last decade was Mr. Nobody, especially the long version that he was amazing in. And I love the idea. I mean, he's a rock star in real life. So he is the vampire Lestat, which is a movie they never made. I wanted to see that after an interview with a vampire. And I'm really excited for Morbius. Okay, Black I Widow. I really am. Very excited. It looks, I mean, I thought it looked great. It had more of a naturalistic flavor to it. It looked very Bond-esque. I mean, okay, that that the 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 scene at the end where they're free falling might be a little wacky, but I'm really excited for Black Widow. It's right up my alley. I like international globe trotting spy thrillers. Okay, Birds of Prey. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I I gotta tell you, nothing I've seen uh, other than the fact that Ewan McGregor is in it. Uh, it looks. It looks kind of like a nightmare, but I, I mean, I love Margot Robbie. I love the actors they have in those roles. I'm hoping I like it, but it seems like it's trying too hard. I'll, I'll tell uh, you what. I think it's safe to say no film, no comic book film of 2020 is better positioned to surprise us. Right. Than Birds of Prey. But because See, I'm you're, all, you're, thinking, you're thinking optimistically. I like <laughs> Cause, that. Because expectations are low. All right. Wonder Woman 84. I'm dude. They had me at that that version of New Order's Blue Monday. Bum, 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 I mean, bum, it was so epic was and so cool. And and I'm like, they're thinking about it. And who knows how Steve Trevor came back? I, I I don't think Steve Trevor is going to last the entire film. I think he's some kind of a godly construct of some kind, which I like. I don't know really. We we haven't seen Cheetah go full Cheetah, but I'm intrigued enough that it looks. Look, I grew up in that period of time. It was the best period of pop culture history, I think, in the last 100 years. I, I think that I, I love Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Um, there's nothing about it that I'm not excited about. Okay, so, okay. Just quickly, Bloodshot. Iffy. You know, I yeah, love I'm, I'm I love, iffy, yeah. I love me some Vin Diesel. I love so the Riddick movies. I love, I just I just don't know. It looks I gotta say, right now, the only reason I'm interested at all is because of Vin Diesel. I mean, yeah. honestly, I, I just... It just looks so derivative. <laughs> um, okay, uh, we already got your thoughts on Eternals. Venom. Well, look, uh, with Andy Serkis directing, they're bringing in Carnage. By the way, I've got a pretty great Carnage figure right up there, but I'm not going <laughs> to reach for it. Uh, I, I, I got to say, I'm more excited to see Venom 2 with the talent in front of and behind the camera than I was to see the first one. All right, and I, and I, it's going to be the dark night of the Venom movies, I think. And just a, a quick one, just quick shot: New Mutants. Deliriously excited, fingers crossed. I want it to be great. I just to see something coming from the Fox merger that didn't get lost. That is truly outstanding. All right, guys. Question: We probably missed one or two, but whatever. All right, guys. Question is: What do you think is going to be? Uh, now, we're not going to hold you to it. We're not going to hold you to it. But do you've got a prediction right now without having seen really anything from most of these films? Do you have a prediction as what do you think is going to be the best comic book movie of 2020? Jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.